This time psych and this video we're looking at mitosis and differentiation. So first of all we'll look at the information is cells. A cell has a nucleus that contains chromosomes and chromosomes carry genes that contain instructions for making new cells. Now you have 46 chromosomes in the nucleus of body cells and these are arranged in 23 pairs. Now new cells are needed in an organism to replace damaged cells. However, this cell has to be identical to the previous cell so that it can have the same function. So in order to produce two identical cells, there is a process called mitosis. So firstly, a normal body cell has four chromosomes in two pairs. Now as cell division starts, a copy of each chromosome is made and this cell then divides in two to form two daughter cells. So next thing we just need to look at differentiation. As in the early stages of an animal and plant, the cells are not specialised and they can become any type of cell. So in an animal, the cell becomes specialised very quickly and this means that they have been differentiated. Therefore, in a mature adult, cell division is fairly restricted except for the repair of damaged cells, which is obviously done by mitosis. So this means that growth in an animal stops when it's mature. On the other hand, differentiation occurs frequently in a plant as cells become specialised all the time. And even once a cell has differentiated, it can go through redifferentiation and carry out another function. This means it is much easier to clone plants because it will become unspecialised and the cells will produce more cells from mitosis. So it is more difficult to clone animals however because animal cells differentiate early on at the start of its life. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.